Okay, so if you're looking to capture time lapses with the Sony a7 III, they just released version three of their firmware. So I've come out here to Box Hill in Rygate to capture, well, I'm a little bit late, but to capture a sunrise. So uh, here are the steps that you need to carry out a time lapse on your a7 III. It's a part of the menu called interval shooting. You'll find this in the first camera option. Uh, and then go to page four and you'll find interval shooting there. So if you switch that on, it's basically a mode for shooting that your camera gets into. Um, and then you simply are just taking, taking photos as soon as you press the shutter release with a timed interval. Um, it'll also do a little delay at the start. Say if you wanted to um, actually leave your camera somewhere and not start shooting for, you know, an hour or something, you could do that. I'm just, I just do it with a few seconds. Um, the idea being that ideally uh, you don't jog the camera on your first image. Um, it doesn't really matter, you can always discard it, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so once you do that, I've also set mine to aperture priority. Um, that The idea with that is when the light changes, it can kind of uh, adjust itself. And then additionally, I've also set my focus to manual. You don't want it to be searching for focus during a time lapse. That's really important. Um, but apart from that, it's a really great little built-in intervalometer. Um, you know, I'm someone who upgraded from the Sony A6500. So for me, um, not having the apps that that camera used to have for intervalometers and all those kind of things um, kind of sucked when I upgraded to my A7 III. Um, so I highly recommend uh, grabbing the new firmware, get this free intervalometer and uh, have a play. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you later.